This was not one of those meetings that drew a large crowd, but maybe it should have. For a long time, the African-American community in the United States has been thirsting to understand Africa the way it should be. The media in Africa has been eager to tell its story, but has been blocked by Western media reporting on only hunger, war, and most recently, the Ebola virus disease. The guest panelists, who are the chairman, CEO of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo, and President, Discovery for Africa, Mr. Eric Naboa, feel it's time to redirect the focus. As a journalist, when there's a story about Ebola ravaging some remote areas in one or two Afri West African uh, states, it makes news. But that's not all the news. Um, I would have rather we, we reported on why there was a delay in trying to get the Zima medicine uh, to the, pa the patients who need them. Um, I would have also uh, have wanted a situation where all the successes made in Nigeria were reported, um, but this was not to be. And, and so unless we're beginning to report like that, and, and as I said, we, we can only do that ourselves. But charity begins at home. Most media in Africa are influenced by the interests of Western media than telling stories of progress and heroism. What should be done and what wasn't done uh, throughout this period was the fact that the successes, the good stories were now reported. How did Nigeria contain the Ebola crisis? Those stories were not told. We were not being told about how people were coping and how they were trying to make sure that the Ebola did not spread. There were no images of even parties that were going on, even at this period, where Ebola was supposedly ravaging Africa. And so maybe, maybe the answer, I'm, I'm not trying to be your PR agency, but maybe the answer is, is channels and other African outlets and finding ways to take them international. Um, you know, All Africa certainly does that in, in, in brilliant ways here um, in the States. But that, that may be the only way that some of these stories um, will get told, at least with a different with a different lens, particularly when our culture is very soundbite driven. Um, the good news stories sometimes take a little bit more framing and development. It doesn't take much convincing for their American partners. Many are already interested in creating that bond that would help paint a true reflection with words and pictures. At the end of the meeting, a media task force is formed with journalists present as members and the key panelists as mentors. They begin an unending journey of partnership, cooperation and development to reintroduce Africa, little understood by the diaspora and yet misinterpreted by Western media to the rest of the world. Amarachi Ubani, Channel Television News.